please note that not every prophetic message that I share on this channel is meant for everybody. So it's important that you have a relationship with the Holy Spirit and take it back to him and ask him to give you the confirmation that you need before you run with the message. And for some of you, I know that this is going to be a confirming message because the Lord has already been speaking to you about this. And if that's the case and you have any questions, please make sure to take all those questions back to him because he will have the answers for you. Hi friends, it's Queen Alita. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, you're most welcome. Happy Tuesday. I hope your week has gotten off to a really great start. If not, hang in there. Um, this too shall pass. <laughs> okay, so today's message is based on... Wait, what is today's message? <laughs> I spent quite a little bit of time with the Lord trying to get that um, and I went through a few dreams so I need to just go back oh okay today's message is based on a dream that I had a while back actually and um, really it's for those of you that are going through well it's not going to be for everybody of course but it's for those of you who have been in a very unsettled place for a long period of time um the Lord has had you in a certain role, a certain position, or you've just been unsettled. And whether it was a role at work, whatever it is, it just hasn't been your place of settling. Whether it's just your life in general, um, you know that there's more in store for you. You know that there is a place where you will settle down. And I do get a strong sense that this does have to do with the household, with your household, with God settling you into your own household. And so it makes me think of uh, a marriage. It makes me think of settling down with your husband or your wife. And I just get that sense of um, God just bringing that settling into your life, right? So that's coming for you in God's perfect and good time. What he's doing right now, or at least what he revealed to me through this dream, is that you are currently in training for that role. There's going to be a shifting and a changing of roles. Um, and really what the Lord was highlighting, besides you being in training and you um, about to shift or or eventually going to shift into that role of um, settling into your own household. The main thing that he was highlighting to me is that this is not a small role. Running a household, being a part of a household, being the other person um, who is running the household, this is not a small role. Society the world has changed it to be or to feel like it's insignificant. Um, and, you know, the Lord was just bringing it up in my spirit how the worldly standards look at people who focus on their household, their home life as um, less intelligent, um, not as well read or cultured whatever the case might be they're not knowledgeable but to the lord this is a very crucial part of society is establishing homes and households that are very healthy um, that are functional okay there's been a lot of dysfunction for a very long time there's been a really intense attack on the traditional family structure and the lord wants to reestablish the traditional family structure we don't even have to look too far to see how much attack there has been everything that is happening right now well a lot of the things that are happening right now are blatantly just going against God's order in terms of what the family looks like, what a traditional family looks like, or at least what a family looks like in terms of how he established it, right? Husband, wife, children. Now we have a lot of variations to that, you know, um, single parent homes, um, homes where both parents are of the same gender or you know, just all of that stuff that's going on that isn't God's perfect design. He, that's not God's original design. There can be a lot of love in those homes. There can be um, good things happening. But the fact that this is not God's original design and structure is already not a good thing, unfortunately. This is not to bash anybody. I'm just going by what the, the word of God says, you know, that God made a man and a woman and, um, you know, a man is to leave his family and cleave unto his wife, you know, just what scripture says. And so I'm not here to 
um, bash anybody right now. I'm just saying that God is reestablishing families. And those of you who know that um, the Lord has shown you this, that this is something that he wants to do in your life, um, you know, know that you are currently in a time of training for that role. You've actually been in training for a while. Um, there's just a certain level of submission that the Lord needs from you in terms of who he has appointed to train you. Because some of you may actually miss some aspects of the training because you may be looking at the person or the people around you like, oh, you're younger than me. What could you possibly teach me? Or um, you are not married. So what could you possibly teach me? Believe me, God can use anybody and anything. So pay attention to who he has around you and how he's using them in your life. Now, I also just felt led by the Holy Spirit to share that the majority of people um, are promised marriage. I think that's the best way that I can put it. Because we know that um, you know, Paul speaks about singleness and how, you know, he was gifted with singleness and some people are gifted with singleness. But I think that uh, people need to realize that because of God's tr design, his traditional design, um, his, his mandate to Adam and Eve was be fruitful and multiply. So the majority really are called to marriage and there's nothing wrong with desiring marriage. There is something wrong with idolizing marriage um, or fixating on it and just wanting it for the sake of wanting it. Most people are meant to get married. There are some who are meant to stay single, who are meant to take celibacy vows, who are meant to live that lifestyle. But because of the mandate in the Garden of Eden, you know, Adam and Eve were the original um, picture of what God wanted to do on the earth was to fill the earth, you know. Uh, he told them, be fruitful and multiply, subdue the earth. And, you know, you have dominion here. So that mandate is still very much true. It's still relevant even now. So um, as much as there's been a lot of uh, focus and, you know, all the videos popping up about kingdom marriage and all of that stuff, it has gotten a little bit crazy. And, um, you know, people have jumped on that bandwagon thinking that, this is their time or whatever the case may be. I do believe that God wants to bring together wholesome, godly marriages in his perfect timing. But some of you are in training at the moment. Some of you are probably about to um, meet that person that God has for you. But whatever the case might be, be fully surrendered to the Lord. Make sure that you're not just chasing after um prophetic messages that you want to hear about marriage and all of that because then it becomes you cross that line of idolization and you don't want to do that you want to constantly be in God's will some of you may not be called to marry and um, I don't believe God would put that desire in your heart if he did not want that for you uh, but sometimes we create our own desires and um we have to get to a point of surrender. So really the crux and the main point of this message is that the Lord is establishing families again. He is, he has you in a time of training. Please be aware of who's around you, who God is using. Don't um, disregard anybody that God could be using. Be discerning, pray, seek God, and know that this is such an important part of God's plan. Um, this role of running a household with somebody is not a small role. You are literally about to raise and equip a new generation of people who are going to be functional, who are going to be whole. And um, the attack on family has been to create um, generations of people who are dysfunctional, who have mental disorders or mental um challenges, emotional challenges, relational challenges because of how the uh, families have been attacked. So the Lord gave me Isaiah 5 verse 20 for today's message because really um, we, we, like I said, we've seen how the world has turned it around and made it seem like um, 
running a household, having that kind of lifestyle where you have a traditional family is no longer good. And Isaiah 5 verse 20 says, Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Okay, we already know that this is happening with where darkness is now being exchanged for light saying, oh, this dark thing is good. This bad thing is good. This bitter thing is sweet. And it's not really any of that at all. What's bitter is still bitter. What's dark is still dark. And what's evil is still evil. So, yeah, that's today's message. I pray that it's made sense and that it's blessed you if it's for you. And I will see you in the next video. Always remember that God is a good father. He loves you so much because you, my friends, are so deeply special to him.